In this video, we're going to make some teleporter pads. So when you step on the pad here, we're going to zap over there and then, and then back. So first you need to make the teleporter pad. Game object, create other, cylinder. I'm going to make it uh, short and wide. So here's our pad. I'm also going to make it sparkle. Um, assets, import package, particles, if you haven't, and then import all. You don't have to do that though. I want some sparkles. So here's my sparkles. I'm going to click and drag onto cylinder and then put sparkles at 0, 0, 0. So now the sparkles will follow my cylinder. And right. So we're going to get going on the script. So in scripts, we're going to right click. Create C sharp script. It's going to be teleport pad and open that up. So each teleport pad is going to have a code. It's going to be an integer just called code. We don't need either of these. What we do need is just like in the ammunition and checkpoint videos, we're going to use on trigger enter. It's a capital O, capital T, capital E. And is it, hmm, is it collider? I'm going to have to check. Ammunition. On trigger enter. Collider, collider. Okay, it's a collider. Good. We also want to check, like before, if we're given that collider information, the game object is what hit us. We want to check that the name is player. So if the name is player, we need to I'm going to make this clearer before I get started. So I'm going to have four teleporters. Okay, they're all going to have that teleport pad attached to them. I'm just going to I'm going to copy this now, the teleporter. So here's one. Here's another one. All the way over here. And here's another one. I'm also going to make in uh, materials, assets, materials, I'm going to make red and blue just to tell them apart. This is a quick way just to make colors. Okay, so this is going to be blue, this one's going to be red. This one's going to be red, and this one's going to be blue. So I'm going to click on, see here's the red one. I'm going to make its code 1. This one's blue, so its code will be 0. This one's red, so its code will be 1. And this other blue one, its code will be 0. So the codes are the same, if the colors are the same. That's the idea. So here's the code. Now when we collide with one, and it's the player, we need to go through all four teleport pads. We need to find the other one with the right code. So just like a for loop, I'll explain this in a sec. Find objects of type teleport pad. Right? Yeah. So this code in here is going to happen four times. TP is going to change each time. It'll be a different one of the four. So we need to check if tp.code is our code. So it's matching. And tp does not equal ourself. So we want to find the other teleporter whose code is our code, but is not. it's not ourself, because our own code matches our own code. So this code in here, we now know matches uh, the TP we found is the right one. So all we have to do is move the player there. Positions are held in a vector 3, so we're going to make a new one. It's going to be the TP we found, okay, the game object it's attached to, transform, oops, we want its position. So our position is, is that except we don't want to go inside the pad, we want to go just a little bit above it. So I'm going to make the Y 
just increased by two, just a little bit. Now we need to move the player, which is found up here, right? In the collider, the player collided with us. So it's transformed up position is gonna be our new position. So this is almost done. I, I, I'm gonna save it and press play and see what happens, but there is a bug. Okay, so if I go here, oh, well there's two bugs. Okay, um, I'm gonna select all teleporters. The collider is, we're actually physically colliding with it, we're hitting it. I don't want it to be that kind of thing. I want it to be a trigger, so it'll, we can pass through them now, but it'll just detect that we did. So now when I do that, we're actually going back and forth between the two pads, they're teleporting back and forth. So there's one more thing we need to do. We need to turn off the teleporter pad for, you know, two seconds, and then turn it back on after we've used it. So. What we're going to do is we're going to make a float um, disable timer. It's going to start at zero. So when we decide to teleport, tp.disable timer will be two. What? Animation. Autocomplete. You're so crazy. Okay, the disabled timer will be set to 2. We also, up here, we only want to ever teleport if disabled timer is less than or equal to 0. And we need to make use that update thing to decrease it. If our disabled timer is greater than 0, we decrease it by time delta time. And it should work, I guess. Let's give it a shot. Yep, seems to work to me. Now we go back inside and we go back to the other blue one. There's some teleporters.